Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to install Kafka using Docker. Okay, all right. You can install Kafka on any operating system like Windows, Mac, or Linux, but the installation process is somewhat different for every operating system. So instead, you will use Docker. I think it's an even better option since you don't have to install the tools manually. Instead, you just need to write one simple Docker Compose file which will take care of everything. And the best part is it will work irrespective of any operating system. So it does not matter what operating system you are using, everything will still work. Or in other words, you can say this will act as a platform independent. Okay. And I would say this will be a quick way to get started with Kafka. So without any further delay, let's move into the installation process. So let's get started. So in order to install Kafka on the Docker container, we need two things. We need an instance of a Zookeeper and an instance of Kafka. Therefore, we are going to create a docker-compose.yml file and we are going to define two different services. One is Zookeeper service and other one is the Kafka service and we will ask Docker to create these two instances for us. Okay, so let's have a look how we can define the docker-compose.yml file and how we can define the services inside that particular YML file. Okay, let's go to the IntelliJ idea or you can create in the any editor. I'll go to the IntelliJ idea. I have just created one simple folder Kafka hyphen installation. I'll create a file called new click on file and I'll give the file name as docker hyphen compose dot yml. Okay. You can keep the extension either yml or yaml. It is up to you. Okay. I'll just define yml. Just click on enter. Now in this docker compose file, you can define what all services you need. As part of our scenario, we need two services, Zookeeper and Kafka. Okay. And to start any Kafka server, first we need to start the Zookeeper. That is what we learned before, right? We have tried multiple example using the command line interface. So we need to first start the Zookeeper. Then we need to start the Kafka. Correct. So I need to define those two services. So first I will define the version which is 3.1. Then I will define the services. You can define n number of services here. Okay. So that Docker will create the instance for these services, whatever you will define in this compose file. In our case, we need the services called Zookeeper. Okay. Now, how can I get these services? Simply you need to specify the image name of Zookeeper. But I don't know what is the image name. Simply go to the Chrome browser and you can type Docker Zookeeper. You can find there will be so many Docker images from the Docker Hub. But I am using the stable one, this one. Okay. If you will zoom this, this is the image name. Copy this name, just paste it. Define the image. I want this image as a Zookeeper so that Docker will start this Zookeeper instances by pulling the image from this. Okay. Now, once you have defined the images, you can define the name of the container. So, I will give the same name as a Zookeeper. Okay. Now, once you have defined the image name and container name, next you can define the ports where this Zookeeper will run host port and your machine port. So I will define 2181. This is the default one. So I will specify the same. Fine. We have defined one services. Similarly, we need to define another services that is Kafka. So let me copy this and I will simply paste it. Second service name is Kafka and images name. You can search the image. Just simply change the name of your service what you want to use. 
this particular tag having this zookeeper and kafka so if you want i can show you that in this repository if you will filter see here we have the kafka okay i'm using the same now just change the container name as a kafka and the default port of the kafka 9092 9092 once you have defined the service zookeeper and kafka then you just need to define the environment by telling to the kafka where is your zookeeper up and running okay so simply just define the environments or environment attribute just define here kafka advertised host name and the host is local host okay now you just need to define kafka zookeeper connect where is your zookeeper up and running you just need to define that okay so let me quickly define it now just define zookeeper it is on port 2181 okay all looks good next once we have created this docker compose file we can execute it using the docker compose command okay docker compose up but before that i just want to show you the feature in id if you want to run the individual services go to that particular service name and here you can see the option called docker compose up zookeeper okay similarly if you want to start only kafka just go to this service i mean this icon here you will find the option to docker compose up kafka if you want to run all the services what you have defined in your file just run on the i mean just click on this particular icon okay it will execute all the services defined inside this compose file okay but i just want to run it explicitly in the command prompt so that you will be aware about the command so what i'll do i'll go to this particular directory first cd kafka installation okay now if i'll check the ls i have this docker compose yml file so what i want to do here i'll simply run the command docker compose then give the file name which is docker compose yml and of that particular compose file in the background so that is the reason i have defined dash d okay so the main command you just need to run docker compose give the file name and define op okay just run it can you see here it's pulling the kafka pulling the zookeeper it will take few seconds to download those two images okay if you observe here container zookeeper started and container kafka started also network kafka installation default created it created the default network and it started these two container so we didn't run this zookeeper and kafka from our local binary distribution rather we asked to the docker to create these two instance for us okay now to verify whether these two container is running or not what i can do first let me check the images can you see here it created the image called kafka and you will also find the image called zookeeper okay now we'll verify whether these two instance is running or not so simply you can run docker ps can you see here let me zoom this so container id is this and the name of the container we have defined zookeeper and kafka okay these two instances up and running now what we'll do let's move ahead one step into the docker container or kafka container and we'll execute the command to see whether the kafka is up or not okay so for that what i can do you need to fire the command let me clear it docker execute integrated terminal and name of your container id in our case the container id is kafka right that is what we have defined our container name 
next just define slash bin slash sh before that just add a dash here okay now if you'll enter it now if you'll do the ls you can find these many folder okay just go inside cd opt now if you'll do the ls you can find your kafka binary distribution installed by the docker itself okay now go inside this particular folder i'll copy this now we are inside the if you'll check the directory we are inside slash opt kafka and the binary version okay now if you'll do the ls you'll find license notice bin everything now if you'll go inside the bin you will find all the script file cell script file or batch file for windows can you see here all the cell script file to start the kafka to create the topic to produce the messages to consume the messages everything you will find now what we'll do we'll quickly end up this we'll just create a topic and we'll publish a message and we'll just consume it or we'll just publish a message and we'll verify that in offset kafka explorer okay so to create a topic you know the command so let me enter it simply just run this kafka topic.sh we want to create the topic and give the host and the service name of zookeeper replication factor and we need partition one topic name is quick start okay let me zoom this quick start now just enter it it created the topic called quick start so we'll verify whether this topic is created or not so what i can do i will open the offset explorer then just click on this i mean you just need to give the see here if you will see the connection property i'm giving where is my zookeeper up and running now if you will open the topic we can see the topic got created name quick start so there will be no data since we didn't publish anything to this topic so to publish to the topic what i can do i'll go to the terminal then i'll simply run the producer command kafka console producer dot sh to which topic you want to produce the messages and what is the host and port where your bootstrap server or kafka server is up and running right this is the basic command we already tried this many times in our kafka series so i'll just enter it then i'll send few message hi hello java tiki then install kafka using docker and docker compose okay or anything some number some random messages now how can we verify whether the messages what i produce is there in the kafka server or not or it, it is there in the topic or not simply go to the offset explorer now just go to the data i want to see all the latest data just execute this can you see here all the messages what we have just produces is there in the topic now what i want to verify that is fine producer is able to publish the messages to the topic now i want to verify whether consumer is able to consume these messages or not okay so that is again quick step what i'll do i'll just open a new terminal then i will just um, it's fine i can run from this command also so i'll just execute the command this then i'll go to the directory cd opt ls i want to go to this particular directory cd go inside the bin ls that's it right now we just need to start a consumer app so that it will read whatever the messages we have published to this particular topic so simply go to the terminal what i'll do i'll open the background here okay now let me clear everything i'll just run this command kafka 
console consumer.sh read the messages from this topic from the beginning read it and where is my kafka server okay just enter it can you see here it take few second and we are able to consume all the messages okay so in real time you can follow this approach where you can install the kafka zookeeper mysql redis whatever the services you don't want to install on your machine and you want to play with them or you are hosted to the server where you don't want to install them physically but rather you are you want to get it from the docker so you can go with this particular approach all the services you can install through this particular docker compose approach okay and this is really needed if your application hosted to the cloud infrastructure and if you are not using the managed service given by the cloud provider then you must need to play with this container platform using this docker compose so do let me know in a comment section if you guys have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept